everyone, it's Kasia from Taramap and I just thought I'm going to show you what I bought at the Crystal Fair because I just returned from Warsaw so there is no Crystal Fair or not a good Crystal Fair in my city so I always have to go to the capital city so I travel you know in the morning for three hours nearly on the minibus then I go to the fair and then I come back uh, for three hours so but all my crystals are hand-picked, so then whatever you see on the wands is actually really hand-picked by me. I don't have any hardcore, you know, uh, equipment to like cut the crystals, so I always have to pick something which I can then attach to the wood and so on and so forth. So I just wanted to show you the ones that I have available right now. I only have three and... Um, this is the water element wand with this cool driftwood. It's got still shells like sticking out of it, but it's a bit rough on one side and um, a bit smoother on the other. So I added the water element and some coral that I found in Thailand. And it just comes with clear quartz. And then this one I call initiation because I love how the you know phantom quartz have, have this like steps and stages. And that shows to me how much we already went through and, you know, that we gain clarity after each initiation. So I also thought of putting the steps of, like, you know, dark and light. We never know. Even if you're going through some really terrible shit, it turns out to be, like, something amazing in a few years' time. So, yeah, you never know. And then rainbow, because I felt like, you know, there's always this rainbow behind I mean, there's always something beyond the rainbow. So, yeah, this one is available. And then the third one, oops. Sorry, because I was using it in the reading. But this is the on the apple tree, or elder tree, actually. Uh, elder tree has this little thingy in it. Uh, it's a very kind of rough elder tree. I left the bit of bark on, a little bit of moss. There's two owl, um, owl feathers and a citrine, like a natural citrine quartz. So I added also some like red, you know, for Demeter, Persephone, all of this stuff. But it's a manifestation and abundance wand and wisdom wand also through Owl because, you know, citrine goes well with this empowerment and solar plexus and just like getting things done. And apple tree was always uh, considered to be abundant right and also the elder tree is very abundant because we use everything from elder from fruit to bark to um, flowers you know so it's medicine all over the place so these three ones um, are available if you're interested you can you know message me here or go and check my instagram or my facebook page ones of transformation i will link it below for you if you don't know but i think most of you know anyway I also am finishing this one. It's not finished yet, but this is going to be called Nut because I'm totally inspired by the goddess Nut. So we'll see. So first what I got, I mean, that, that was the last when I was leaving the fair. I just walked past this man and um, it's a very special quartz because it comes from Polish mountains. You can't really see maybe, but it's a rose quartz, natural rose quartz, kind of natural rose quartz slash quartz. Um, it has this really kind of pink top, but it's covered, it's not clear, you know, but it's double terminated and it has this amazing um, bottom. So you could say like it's, you know, somebody said like on Instagram that it could be Artemis with the many boobies <laughs> or, you know, it's a healing quartz, definitely. It's very soft. I sat with it on the bus for all this time and it has this beautiful soft energy um, it's quite heavy, you know, because it's a big quartz. So I got it very cheap and this man who sold it was so beautiful. It was from his uh, collection and it's from Poland, from Izers Izera Mountains, I think in English they called. So from around Breslau and like the Western Poland when there was a lot of Slavic people too. And he said that it comes from 80s. He got it in 80s from some like a uh, place where they dig coal or whatever you know so yeah this is the rose quartz and funny enough I was I'm working with rose quartz quite a lot these days because I need to like 
um, get some nurturing and softening so this rose quartz was really amazing but then I show you some of the amazing crystals that I got for some wands so this one comes with this green tourmalines which are which are just like polished in to the quartz so there is tourmalines green tourmalines here and also there is some over here but it's just feels cool and I like it for the hot energy and then I got this natural smoky citrine it's kind of hard to show but it's got this darker bit here in the corner and um, yeah just really lovely some rainbows too then I got this cool smoky with rainbows and also when I looked at it, this like a little fault you know I mean it's not in uh, it's inside but it's kind of like shaped like a heart and it has a rainbow so this little cool smoky and then I got this beautiful chloride quartz um, also some phantoms and yeah it's pretty amazing I love it so I've got some branches uh, some big branches which I want to use these on there's also some I was looking for phantoms because I love them and they really initiation stones for me just like you know uh, this one from this one which I called initiation to so there's um, some more with chloride I don't know if the camera shows but yeah there's like some steps and um, I got some black obsidian one is with this cool sheer um, glow so I don't know if it's going to show because you need light but yeah it doesn't really show but it's uh, it's a very cool one so I'm going to make some small ones from it uh, and maybe a larger one as well I got some amethysts um, smoky amethyst as well and then I just my best friends who sell crystals there they had uh, good luck to find some natural citrine and it's really beautiful and great quality like you know not colored amethyst um, they come in different shapes so I took some for you know for once I think it's going to be cool and they really well you know they like spiky and just have this beautiful natural coloration um, I was looking for some stones you know I love those I love stones that are not totally perfect but have some stories to tell and so these are like smoky citrine and some a bit more yellowish some a bit more kind of um, darker some a bit more towards the clear quartz but yeah they're great like really beautiful and then I also got some um, just hematite quartz this is raw quartz like some Lemurians um, so I'm going to make something from this and I also thought I'm going to get some tourmaline that I can add to the ones as well so I didn't get so much I also got some laca roses I didn't get so much but these were quite expensive the you know the citrines because when you find natural citrine they quite pricey and um, and yeah the bigger stones obviously were more expensive but um, I'm just glad with what I brought because I kind of am inspired and I wasn't that inspired <laughs> before I always get the threads as well the one so yes yeah, send me some good vibes so i'm going to create something beautiful out of it and then maybe you guys um yeah some of you might want to get these ones so any anyway, of i just thought it's going to be fun to show you the, what i have bought at the crystal fair and i'm going to call it probably either maria or maybe mary ma uh, definitely or maybe Diana maybe uh, Artemis I don't know I don't know I'm just going to think about it <coughs> but definitely has some soft healing vibe this crystal and I know it's not that beautiful but as I said I don't like perfect crystals I'm in love with imperfections and whenever I see a story and this is a double terminator and it was so cheap to for what it is so I'm um, excited about it so i'm going to work with it just welcome the stones i always use you know my chimes to cleanse everything to kind of bring the good vibes to them so whenever you get anything from me they usually charged with sound they really um, you know made with loads of love and inspiration and i can never make ones when i'm not inspired that's why i'm so like 
never, you know, constantly, I don't have constantly things for sale, so they just only for sale when I feel inspired to make them. Okay, so that's it. That's what I wanted to share. I'm a little bit on a crystal high, so I'm going to go off and eat something. But I just had this, uh, yeah, I just, I wanted to share this one especially and show you how beautiful it is. Mm. Okay, thanks my friends for watching and I speak to you soon. Bye!